Hello everybody, welcome back. Emperor Bubbles is here, and guess what? It is the finale of the Moore and Saga Classic. Moore taking game number one, and Saga taking game number two. If you're following along, uh, you know uh, very much so what was going on. Two tremendous battles, and it is going to be a slugfest in this third game to see who will face Ragnar in the quarter finals so a lot on the line to place in the money you need to make it to the semis so this is a make it or break it more this time around is lusitani and his opponent saga in the trees is nervi this map is rugion has quite a bit of trees as you can see uh, a little bit different than other total war league maps yes pyramid does have some trees but you can see our troops and we got some clusters here some clusters there here, there, lots of spaces to potentially hide troops or, you know, just take cover from missile fire. Uh, we'll take a peek at Lusitani's army, rocking some Iberian slingers, four of them, and then the cavalry, Skitari cavalry, four Skitari with a Lusitani noble general that is the only general available to Lusitani. So he has to take that melee man and here is his front line definitely not uh, a surprise lots of vet shield warriors three four five six seven eight oh my eight oh that's a lot of damage with two iberian supporting swordsmen as right away there is a slinger battle in the front line of the trees here it's like Nervi, I, I can't see their army, but I do have a screenshot of it. He has is rocking three Celtic Slingers, and look at this, out of the trees. Wow, stunning. The Scout Riders coming in. They're not gonna commit fully, but that was shocking. Using the trees to his advantage, as he wants to find some damage, but he also doesn't want to commit too many troops, as now he is taking some fire on those scout riders, but this also allowed these Celt Slingers to get some shots uh, on to Lusitani, but as I was saying, three Celt Slingers, four Celt Warriors, only three Fierce Swords, two Levy Freeman buddies bringing in some heavy, heavy melee, three Oath Sworn. Looks like, gosh, I, I think those are three, he's got three, I don't know what the unit that is exactly, can't recognize that unit card but I think they're the Mighty Horse. Three Mighty Horse and two Germanic Scout Riders. Oh, here they are. Yeah, the Mighty Horse, okay. So there you have it. As starting the battle, you can see a 19 minute timer on the clock as here comes another Cavalry Charge. See if this time he can get him. I think he's going to, as he does. More not learning from his uh, potential mistake from earlier. Going to lose upwards of 10 men, but not that much damage at the end of the day. As, he is like a uh, a praying, uh, what do they call it, a uh, uh, predator, the lion, stalking his prey, waiting for the moment. I guess you don't really see this on any other maps, things like that. Pretty exciting, but uh, if it's 18 minutes of a stare down, not as exciting. But so far, that has been the, uh, the story right there. Look, uh, actually, the, these Celt Slingers, very much so protected. Uh, Moore has no obligation to accept that engagement, and nor should he. Um, it's going to be tough. If any poor, I think I don't know how how much of the troop needs to be covered, but I'm pretty sure if you're in the trees, just even a little bit, you're going to receive a bonus from uh, blocking missile. But now Nervii pushing out. We can see more of his army. You can see he's rocking the Oath Sworn General. Saga knows the power of the Oshworn. He's just got them all in the one in the middle and then two or then one on the right and the left as Moore has his slinger contingents focused on the left and Saga more so centered in the middle a pretty interesting choice here, but uh, Now you can see Moore has a slight advantage here. He is in the trees I'm curious how long Saga will accept this or will he push? Uh, probably not a push according to the timer, but he is dealing good damage to those slingers as you can see Nearly killing 30 of them So a nice turnaround there for more as more has 51 slingers and 78 But he might route slinger here down to 44 and routing. Okay, they're routing well, A couple more shots could potentially eliminate that unit from the game. That'd be a big pickup 
but uh, it is not the, that banner. You can see it is white. It is not gone yet. So most likely that troop will come back as he will disappear into these trees. So we won't know uh, when or if he comes back. I guess we could keep watching uh, down here, but uh, are they not disappearing? Well, color me shocked. I thought they're going to disappear. But uh, clearly they're they, okay. They're coming back. So much. They are back and now they disappear into the shadows, almost like they don't exist. As the shift by Saga, he shifted over uh, from his first position. Now he's actually turning. He's uh, trying to form a 90 degree angle. This man loves geometry, I tell you what. The geometry expert. But, uh, you know, Nervii going up against Lusitani. He's a uh, eight. Very, very good swordsman on those vet shield warriors. He's gonna need some good, uh, some good play on the, even when he sends in the melee, you know, some good micro. It's not just gonna be straight up. He's Osh Sworn. That's gonna be very, very important. How is the charge there going to uh, affect the battle, essentially? As more shifting, and not, not this more, M O R E, this, the uh, Lusitani more is M O R R. Come on, get it right, you fools. But uh, there are the scout riders making themselves known for the first time in a couple minutes. Let's speed it up and see if we can get something going here. We are on two times speed, but uh, the Emperor's PC, not the beefiest. Uh, usually when I run three times speed, it kind of, uh, as they say, shits the bed. I, shame. The Emperor's got a potty mouth. What a shame. But here we go. Some more slinger action. As I was previewed this battle by um, more, like you said, there's a lot of slinger action. As as we can see, as here comes the scout riders again out of the shadows, and they oh no, they will not get any strikes. So already interesting here from Saga. So he's choosing to use his scout riders, uh, their ammo for the slingers. So that's actually pretty interesting. That is some pretty uh, vital and important, what would you call it? Key to the battle, keeping some skirmisher cav ammo, but uh, he's not gonna have any. He's got uh, his three melee cav, two mores, four. Let's see what he can do there. As this slinger 29 is still kicking. Talk about a uh, pain in the side. Or cannot seem to get rid of him. As if he gets him this time, that you didn't, yep, there he goes. Not coming back. So more up four to two on the slingers. He's up on Cav. Uh, the melee, gosh, I would say the melee is pretty even. He got three Osworn, but you got eight Vet Shield Warriors. And then your Lusitani Noble General. Uh, some distinct differences. Well, no, not a differences, just some elements to each faction. Lusitani, if you're uh, not too familiar, very, very low armor. So if uh, Nervii can keep these slingers alive and put the pressure on that, that would be very beneficial to him. And as well for uh, Nervii, their fierce swords, their mid-tier sword, low armor. And they got the Kel Warriors, which many factions have Kel Warriors, but uh, they are low armor as well. The Oshorn, they don't really fit the bill of low armor, 80 armor. They would not be affected as much by slinger fire, but uh, those fierce swords, wherever they are, as it, let's take a peek at their armor. 45 armor, so uh, pretty low for a mid-tier sword, but uh, those guys can do uh, some serious damage, especially in the hands of a top-tier player. As there, there we go. There's the skirm cav working the vet shield warriors. So probably something that uh, Saga wanted here is he gets a nice hit on those slingers, killing a handful there. As those scout riders down to 30, so he's lost 30 men, and he just wants those slingers. Still using the ammo for the slingers. Um, you know, I'm not better than Saga, but I, I did beat him in the regular season. I'm just saying. But uh, overall, probably not better than him. I I can only give my opinion, but uh, I wouldn't want to use Scout Rider ammo or any Scrum Cav ammo on Slingers. I'd like to, especially, look, you're facing Lusitani. I think you got to be putting some strikes uh, upon the Vet Shield Warriors, even the Iberian Swordsmen or their cavalry. Uh, your Slinger, the Slingers... Not gonna, I don't. I don't just don't know how much damage you're gonna get from shooting Pillum at him. I don't know. I, I do see 41 kills. That's a decent amount, but uh, he's running low. So we have 11, 11 minutes and 15 seconds still left on the clock. 
people speed up as Nervii. Maybe they're committing, maybe not. Maybe it's another, uh, I gotcha, you fool. As those scout riders now, as you can see, have gone into the trees and uh, they are idle. Uh, if you're more, you know, you're not gonna forget about them, but uh, there's always a chance you could potentially forget about that unit. So gonna be important for more to not forget about that as Saga, I am uh, intrigued, you know, he's pushing. He's pulling, but uh, so not really making himself known here. We don't quite. Does he want Lusitani to come? I'm a, maybe yes, as he's out calved. Uh, in terms of melee calf, skirm calf now pushing into the back of that tree cluster. As let's uh, double the speed again. So get some slinger action. Moore's slingers. He's putting the two lighter slingers who have taken more damage to the front. Oh, wow. Okay. Three of his slingers are down to uh, 40 or less. Oh, 41 or less troops. One at the full capacity. So there goes one. He's got uh, Kelt Slinger at 80. Not doing quite much damage. As one gets the first route, usually after your first route and, uh, and you get routed again, usually that uh, they break. Usually they do not come back after two. I guess whether it be after one, I don't know. It's late. I'm recording this late, actually. Uh, this is the night before the release. Praise be. And <laughs> it's a late one. But uh, there's some slinger fire routing one. That one coming back. The Kel slingers holding their own here. 57 and 45. And even the Iberians, they have the tree coverage. So that's actually pretty interesting. I think. Are they shooting the fierce swords? I think he's shooting the fierce swords. So the Slinger's kind of giving up. But is he shooting them? It looks like it to me. Those first swords, as we talked about, 45 armor. Puts a decent amount of volleys there, but uh, not doing the damage that was required. As look at the, look at the lines for more. This, that's, uh, that's pretty interesting. Every, every unit is a little bit sideways. I like it more. If you're watching this, I like it. <laughs> very, very tactical. Uh, Saga keeping a, a steady formation, moving his troops, winding and grinding. He wants to move on to the next round. He knows he can make a splash in his first appearance in Total War League. He wants he wants uh, Hamilcar Barker's title. Everybody wants his title. It's going to be tough, though, to take it out of his, uh, his hands. It's going to have to be cold, dead hands to get that from Barker. There's a big shift there from Lusitani. You can see the... Uh, the, uh, the formation, the troops, and their movements. There they are. They're shifting. We might get some melee action here. But uh, Saga... Is he going to pull back? Or is Lusitani going to deny this? God, trying to deny it. Taking a pull. So uh, there's that strategy we talked about in so many videos. He hits the Kelt Warriors and he moves in the melee. And here the... Oh, ouch. Ouch. Those Iberians taking a big hit from the Mighty Horses. We are certainly underway here. The cavalry for an RVI and the melee in. Looks like an O sworn on the right flank. So we'll see if that is too exposed. Uh, if he's going to take some damage. But a huge commitment of men. As those vest shield warriors. I see four yellow banners onto one melee troop. Fully committed here is Lusitani. As this vest shield warrior cutting him off. More having a, uh, you know, only a couple troops to defend this. Uh, what would you call it? Left flank? I guess it's, it's Moore's right flank. But uh, there goes some uh, cavalry backing off. So the Skatari is 16 kills there and 7. What if they did the work that they needed to do? The Oshwar, where's that? Uh, got an Oshwar in the back. Where's the Oshwar in general? Still uh, not engaged in battle. The Fierce Swords, low numbers. I don't know if you saw that. 15 kills. As now the Vet Shield Wars putting on pressure here. Could it be a bait and switch? As more might uh, actually take some damage, he he will. So a mistake from more big pickup for Saga, sending back the Levy Freeman, and again here the Oshwar no! hitting those Vest Shield Wars. No charge for Lusitani. Again, uh, I didn't mention this earlier, but Lusitani good charge bonus on all their troops. As those dramatic scout riders finding their prey, Slingers could potentially rout Lusitani Noble trying to fend them off. So we got a cav on cav with some Levy Freeman and Iberian Sword engagement on the left flank of Lusitani. So much going on as this Skatari gets uh, getting caught by that uh, Levy Freeman. Did not want that. So uh, he's just going to 
try to get his units through there. It's, you know, we, we have a rule called pull through, but uh, I don't think that kind of fit the bill there. As the mighty horse to the defense of the Nervii Slingers. Dramatic Scout Riders, looks like they did pick up a route there on that, uh, I think that was a Slinger. I kind of missed it there. Shame, Emperor. Shame. The mighty horse. Pressure here. Another hit. Wait, okay, Morse sees it, pushing off, trying to get away. As this flank here, it is all Mighty Horse. He has used Frenzied Charge on those Lusitani Cavalry. They will be exhausted. 45 left. Scout Riders even want some action. Lusitani Noble versus the Oshorn. Big, big matchup as a Kelt Warrior. Up top, finding some distance, finding the flank, and trying to get around the Lusitani. Or still got that cab in the back. This one has been caught by the Levy and the Mighty Horse. That'd be tough for that Lusitani Cavalry. He's at 59 and he has not used that Frenzy Charge. We could get away. As this Noble is uh, targeted by those Slingers. Scout Riders now. You saw Saga put him in and he couldn't regret it as they both will rout. Certainly all the ammo was used, had to have been used. But this Mighty Horse, the only thing in the way of wreaking havoc on those slingers and what a game number three we have ladies and gentlemen lucitani nobles 95 kills the o sworn at 107 pretty steady but here comes a vet shield warrior with the flank second wind being used this is unit uh, his general unit will now be fresh here come the cavalry as they might become sandwiched by the skatari in Brigade. nice strike used frenzy charge but it was too late there as the iberian sword losing a flank will open up there for nervii looks like left flank won by uh lusitani right flank by nervii as this unit's going to deal big damage to those 42 and 18 units of lusitani and now these men coming back to the aid of their warriors it's the mighty horse will route at two it's opening up for Levy Freeman in, in, in trying to get back as best as they can. Look at the bounce of power, not in favor of Lusitani, but coming back up. Two and a half minutes on the clock. The Slingers now being called upon for a potential melee engagement. Oh boy. Basically a full O sword for Nervia, and I can see why the balance of power is enjoying that. But, but uh, I'm noticing I don't see the Nervia general, and I look at the Nervia general that uh, he has been recently killed. Ouch, that's a lot of damage. The Oshorn in trying to have an answer for these vet shields 70 and 30. The yeah, Lusitani Noble General pursuing the Kel Warrior. But uh, difference here is that Lusitani's got two cavalry as he hits the Levy Freeman hard. Very cost efficient, but uh, without Pillum, those guys are going to have a tough time as one routing from the first hit and the second hit right in. Big, strong hit. That's a lot of damage. A good work there. These slingers, they still have ammo. They will target that general. Doesn't look like they're shooting. So there's still, wow, only one Oshorn has been eliminated since we last checked. Slingers pushing back. Kelt Wars, looks like they're trying to protect this slinger, so I'm assuming he still has some ammo. But more, trying to make it so that he does not have any chance Strikes upon it and hits them bigly. You see, I didn't say big hit that time. I said hit him bigly. Find the Oshawar now. Let's see how the Oshawar responds to this cat in the back. Nice strike. Lots and lots of damage. So there's a melee contingent. Those two foes facing off. The Vet Shield Warriors and the Oshawar. 66 standing. And the general has some reinforcements. I don't think Moore has lost his general. He has not. He's routed his units. Certainly, this is Moore's. He came in as the seven seed, and it looks like he has the glory in his hand. He has the victory upon him as he hits the Oshawar to the back. Nice strike there. All that is left is a nice run from the general on the Oshawar. He chooses to use Headhunt, increasing his melee attack. He wants to deal the most damage possible as he will he goes in and more will be moving on because it is finished uh, what a performance by more oh my goodness that was a battle to the end
great game from both competitors as we take a peek at the stats more needed every single unit possible to take care of business that general stayed alive built the morale kept his troops in the game and he nearly picked up 200 kills with that noble a big congratulations again to more and a great game to both competitors saga what a season he had i'm sure he'll be coming back next season even stronger and uh, we will see next more in the quarterfinals against ragnar praise be glory be upon thee at home and glory to the empire